demonstrate how to use a Solo A11 for your motorized fly. So what you need is a normal Solo A11. And what you need to know about this one is the button. So it only have two button up down and at the back of the wand it have a hold here. We'll call this the confirm button. And now we'll just plug this one in. So, so what you do is plug this one in at the top. There is a charging port. So you plug the line directly into that. And you just hook it on. Put the normal hook there. And now you test it out. So you press down, it goes up. Press up, it goes up. But I'll teach you how to program it from the reverse position to the normal position for this type of line. So now if you see I pressed up, it goes down. And if I press down on the one, it goes up. So that means it's in the reverse position. So what you need to do is behind of the one, there is a hole here. So you hold on this button too tight the confirm button wait for the blind to jog that's one time then you press it again that's two times so now if I press up the blind goes up if I press down the blind goes down so in order to program this blind to the desired limit we will press the down button and the confirm button at the same time so once you press that you put it in the programming position so now you just take it to the desired length let's see right there and you just hit confirm at the back so now you already set the lower limit and to set the upper limit, you take the blind up a little bit, it goes up, then you press the upper button and the confirm button at the same time. You will see the blind jog. Once it's jog, it's in the programming position. So what you do now is take the blind all the way up to the desired line that you want it to be. Once it's there, you just hit confirm at the back of the wand. Now you test it by pressing it all the way down. And now you test it by pressing it all the way up. And that's it, it's pretty simple. In order to charge this wand, you will need a charger and how you charge this at the bottom of the one there is a port here so you plug the charger directly into the one but make sure the one is attached to the port at the top of the plane and then you just start the charger to a charging port and that's it you check the blank Make sure the red light is on. Most times the red light will not be on because it's fully charged. But if it's on, that means it needs a little bit of charging. So you just leave it to charge and it should work fine after then. And that's it. If you find this video helpful, like and subscribe for more awesome video and how it works.